The medium and long-term strategy for Indo-Japanese collaboration to support economic transformation report launch was attended by Indian High Commissioner to Sri Lanka Gopal Bagle, Japanese Ambassador Mizuko Hideki and Minister of Foreign Affairs Ali Sabri. One might ask about the rationale for seeking India and Japan's support to revive Sri Lanka's economy. India is the closest neighbour of Sri Lanka with multifaceted ties going back to centuries. India's interest in the welfare of the country and its people was made evident in the granting of generous credit facilities uh, during the recent past amounting to nearly four billion dollars. Likewise, Japan has been a country which had generously provided economic support going back to many decades. In terms of foreign policy, I would like to specifically mention that Sri Lanka occupies a unique place in India's foreign policy. It is India's policy and India's effort and we strive to partner Sri Lanka even more closely in the areas of Sri Lanka's priority and as per Sri Lanka's requirement. Sri Lanka can indeed be uh, a source of export of surplus power produced by using renewable energy sources. Development of Trinko Mali as a harbour, as an industrial zone, as an energy hub is something which we are happy to take forward with cooperation of the government of Sri Lanka. The Japanese ambassador spoke on Indian contribution to Sri Lanka. I believe that the connectivity is the best area to showcase how two countries can bring tangible benefits to the entire region, including Sri Lanka. I am confident that Japan and India will continue to contribute to Sri Lanka's economic development, utilizing our expertise and complementarity. I believe that Sri Lanka could greatly benefit from India, which is a regional economic power with a large market, and also Japan, a long-standing partner in Sri Lanka's socio-economic development for its medium to long-term economic development. Sri Lanka's foreign minister spoke about strategizing the economy. It's also important that how important these kind of inputs from the intellectuals and Experts in the different fields are important for country to strategize its economic and other focus. Look at these areas where politicians, normal politicians won't understand. And, but the politicians need to have the humility to listen and take that right decision. These populist policies, there is nothing called a free meal. If anything is being given free, they are being taxed from somewhere else. So this truth has to be told and explained to the public. That's how we can really build a country where yeah, Sri Lankans deserve and the region deserves. The Sri Lanka is a peaceful country. The medium and long-term strategy for Indo-Japanese collaboration to support economic transformation report launch took place in Colombo.